Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. I honestly don't even know what today's vlog is gonna be. I literally just picked up my camera. It's now Tuesday and I have like nothing filmed for this week's YouTube video. So I've, I've literally just picked my camera up and have no idea what is about to be in this video. <laughs> I just thought I would mash up just some random little bits that's gonna be going on this week. I honestly, I'm just gonna be real with you guys. Yesterday was not a good start to my week at all. Like I really was just not feeling like good mentally. I don't know why, like nothing had like, nothing's happened or anything, but I honestly, I think it's because I had like a really, really bad sleep on the Sunday night. I woke up at like three in the morning feeling like really sick and I just really didn't get much sleep at all. Like I woke up at about half seven and I came to have like an hour's, another hour's sleep on my sofa until like half eight, nine o'clock. And I literally basically stayed in my pajamas for most of the day. But I decided to go into town yesterday because I wanted to get a new phone. This is gonna sound like so, excessive and like unnecessary but obviously as social media is um my job i wanted to get like um, a, a phone that is my work phone so that basically maybe like first thing in the morning and then at night before i go to bed i just turn it off and i don't even go on it i don't think about work because far too many times recently i just i'm doing work till like really late when maybe i should be reading or something and it's kind of like the, th the first thing that i do in the morning and like whilst i am really really passionate about my job and like I love my job so much I feel like I, I need to just set myself some boundaries at the same time so I went and got that yesterday and to be honest that has actually given me a lot of motivation to film and um, I don't know what it is it's basically like the same phone that I have now it's just a little bit better quality but I don't know it's just giving me like it's kind of like, like when you get a new gym fit and it just gives you a little bit of motivation I feel like that's what it has given me obviously because that's what I film all my stuff on and I have just kind of like got a little bit more motivation to film and um, some things for you guys because yesterday honestly I feel like it's because I'm not feeling good in myself at the moment like physically you know like my external image like my skin is really going through it at the moment you won't be able to tell now because i have makeup on but my skin is just breaking out all over the place and i don't know what it's from i don't know if it's my diet i haven't really like changed anything um so yeah that's been getting me down a little bit I'm, i've been getting proper like under the skin um spots and like it's one of them ones you know where you just feel like you have to wear makeup every day um, and I don't want to film without makeup on when usually that's not the case. Usually I don't mind filming with like no makeup on, but like my image of myself has just not been good recently. And as I said, I've just felt the need to put makeup on and I feel like I can't film without makeup on, which is obviously not good. And like the fact that I have to film basically like every single day, it's just, and obviously like I look at myself every single day, like that is basically what my job is, basically based on what I look like, which it sounds so shallow and like, you know, it just, yeah. But that is just how it is. Like when social media is your job, I'm not complaining about my job or anything. I absolutely love it, but that is just been my, thoughts for the past couple of days i thought i would just be honest with you guys because if you think that i you know maybe have it together all the time always feeling confident all the time it's not the case everybody's human nobody's feeling 100 percent confident and good within themselves all the time so yeah i just wanted to speak some truth and if you're feeling the same you're not alone i feel like it's just the winter times you know like i'm just really pale i have fake tan on right now but my face, I don't fake tan my face, so my face is just like pale. I just look a little bit ill, you know, bad skin, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now, I'm gonna stop complaining. But yeah, that is what um, happened yesterday. And whilst I was in town, I actually um, ended up seeing ads and Holly as well, which was unexpected, didn't even plan to meet them. Um, but then we ended up going to Dunelm, a little Dunelm trip, which really cheered me up. I feel like I just, you know, I feel like I just needed some girl time maybe because in my mind i always think that everything i do is better to do it on my own because i'm so independent i do most things on my own anyway obviously i live on my own and i always maybe think about reaching out to people and then i think to myself no i'd rather just stay on my own but then sometimes it is just nice to just be with people isn't it and be with like your girls so that was really nice and we actually ended up going to the cinemas as well which is really last minute we went to go watch iron claw i don't know if any of you guys have seen it but i really really enjoyed it it's a new film with um zac efron in it it's really like sad though it's really emotional and we all we all kind of like just had tears at the brims of our eyes and we all just looked at each other at the end like <laughs> 
but it was such a good film. I highly recommend it. I feel like it's much better than what the trailer makes out to be. The trailer makes out to be very sport-like, which it is, but it's also like there's a deeper meaning behind it. And it's also based on like a true story as well, which makes it even more sad. But yeah, highly recommend that. I also finished Vampire Diaries the other day, guys. Cried at that as well. That was, yeah. I don't think I'll ever be over it. I need three to five business days to recover. I have started the originals though. I literally am on the first episode and I don't know. I feel like I'm bored of it already, but I'm going to keep going with it. I am actually just about to have a meeting um, in six minutes, right? It's 10.54 and I've done some filming this morning. As I said, I film it, I'm filming a what I eat in a day for Instagram. So if you want to see more what I eat in a day is obviously like a quick version of it. Head over to my Instagram. And I also really, really want to try and start filming more helpful content. Not that my content's not helpful now, but kind of like tips, fitness journey tips sort of thing, because I feel like I really don't do that enough. And I personally love watching things like that. So I'm going to try and create more um, content like that for my Instagram and TikTok and things like that. Obviously, I post things like that on YouTube more in depth, but if you want in just like quick content like you know less than a minute kind of content i would head over to my instagram instead obviously youtube is a lot more in depth but i might actually sit down and do a little bit of a sit down section in this video about fitness i feel like i've not really spoken about fitness in on my youtube channel in a few weeks it's been very you know vlog style personal kind of stuff so i might do that in this video but yeah as i said i literally have a meeting in a couple of minutes and then i'm going to the gym i'm training glutes and hamstrings this morning um i sacked the gym off yesterday because i i just didn't want to go that just sounds really lazy but i just was not there mentally and i feel like i if i was to go i would have had a bad session i know people always say you never have a bad session blah blah, blah but sometimes you know when you just know in your gut it's just best to just stay at home and rot that is that is basically what i wanted to do and that is what i did <laughs> but i'm feeling a lot better today and i feel like i've had a little bit of a surge in motivation for you know just for working and going to the gym so i'm taking full advantage of it and heading to the gym this morning and filming lots of content today i put a little bit of makeup on just to make myself feel a little bit better but yeah i'm gonna have this meeting and then i'll speak to you guys soon Meeting is done. I'm just about to have my pre-workout bagel and my actual <laughs> pre-workout. As you guys know, my favourite pre-workout is this Pride one from EHP. If you guys want to get any discounts off any supplements of EHP Labs, you can use my code MIA. And the link to shop is in the description. I am just resting you on my, like, cutlery thing. <laughs> but I'm going to have like one and a half scoops of this just because I'm just in the mood for a little bit a little bit more today, a little bit more of a kick. And then I'm actually hungry. It's like nearly 12 o'clock. So I'm going to have my bagel and then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to make my dinner. I really don't know what, I don't know what to have guys. But tonight I'm going to have um, a roast dinner because why the fuck not? I bought a roast chicken the other day and I feel like ha there's something about roast chicken that is just so nice compared to a chicken breast. It's so much more flavorful. It's so much more moist. <laughs> I feel like chicken breasts are just so dry. So yeah, I love a roast chicken and I love meal prepping it as well because it's just so much nicer the next day than a plain old chicken breast. <laughs> I have just come to the building next door to mine because I'm about to 
um, meet Az, she's going to come down, but I've just come to do some work because I just needed to get out of my flat. I haven't spoke to you since yesterday, but I just needed to get out of my flat, honestly. I'm just not in the best headspace at the moment. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but yeah, I'll speak to you when I get back home, but yeah, I just needed to leave my flat and be in a little bit of a different environment because I was just feeling so lethargic. I'm just about to take my makeup off and get a shower and wash my hair because my hair is so gross right now. I haven't washed it in like a week. I usually only wash my hair once a week anyway. But as I have kind of been saying in this vlog, and I was editing back this vlog today, and I also really apologise for it being really negative. I feel like I've literally just been complaining the entire time. So I'm really, really sorry about that. I don't want to, you know bring negative vibes over here. I don't want my vlogs to be negative and stuff, but I just also want to be honest with you guys and just let you know like kind of how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, I don't know what it is, I just feel like I'm in such a funk, like I'm in such a rut at the moment. Um, so please let me know if you're experiencing the same thing and that I'm not alone. I just, I think my motivation is just so, so, so low. Not that that is an excuse because obviously, you know, I train whether I'm motivated or not, but this is just something else. Like, I'm not even wanting to leave the house. Like, I don't know. I think it's just a phase. Um, so, yeah, I am currently, as of tonight, <laughs> in the process of trying to make myself feel better. I'm going to have a little bit of a glow up because, as I said, I just feel a little bit gross. Um, like, physically, obviously, just, like, making myself look a little bit nicer externally isn't just gonna like fix the problem like straight away but it's a good start and i feel like an external glow up never harmed anyone i'm actually getting my nails done tomorrow both my um fingernails and my toenails so that will make me feel a little bit better i'm gonna wash my hair tonight i'm gonna do a face mask um, so yeah, I thought I would take you guys along. As I said at the start of this video, I honestly had no idea what this video was going to be, but I guess it's a little bit of a, you know, just a little bit of an honest vlog, not like I usually do, um, and a little bit of a glow up vlog too. We're not doing anything major, that is literally all I'm getting done my nails, but I feel like nail day never fails to lift my mood. Anyone else? I also might be going for a um, dinner tomorrow night with a couple of girls. Maybe. Nothing's booked. It's not set in stone or anything, but the idea has kind of been brought up, so maybe we'll do that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow because today it was honestly just a write-off. I honestly do feel a little bit ill, as I was saying this morning. Um, I feel like I'm just coming down with a little bit of something, something, and I am just not not here for that to be honest my body is just kind of like achy you know when your body just starts getting really achy everywhere um right before you get ill and i literally only trained glutes and hamstrings yesterday but like all my upper body is aching and like my quads like it's really weird i feel like the littlest thing is just making me sore because i might be coming down with something but fingers crossed um tomorrow i'll be all good because I just really really do not want to be ill <laughs> right now obviously I don't want to be ill anytime but yeah that might also be a reason as to why I'm not feeling the best and you know just feeling a little bit down because my body kind of knows it I feel like your body always has a way of like telling you these things <laughs> before it actually even happens so who knows I've actually just restarted Vampire Diaries tonight guys because my withdrawals are too bad i started watching the originals um a couple days ago i'm on episode two and so far it's really boring and um, but i've heard really good things about it so i'm gonna carry on with it on the side of like re-watching um vampire diary so yeah i'll let you guys know how i get on with that i'm also like a pretty big chunk of the way into my second akatar book and really enjoying it so far i will of course update you guys the more I go on with the book, but so far, 
really loving it. Does anyone else's eyes go like so, so red like as soon as they take their eye makeup off? Because mine just like go so red, they like flare up, it's so strange. But also guys, I got my eyebrow um, microblading topped up like two weeks ago now. And when you get microblading, you can't get your eyebrows wet for like two weeks after you get them done. Honestly, it's the worst thing ever. That's like the worst part of it because it's just like, you don't realize how much, you know, you get your eyebrows wet on a day-to-day -day basis when you wash your hair, when you wash your face. And I don't know why I was putting them in there. And it's honestly just the biggest ball lick to have to like wash your forehead separately and then wash the rest of your face. So I'm excited tonight to actually just put my whole face under the water um, when I wash my hair. So yeah, this hair, I honestly bet it'll stay in this place when I take the ponytail out. That's gross. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what um, shampoo and conditioner that I've been using. I think I have already like shown you guys because I've been using these for a while. But this is the Wear Detox Shampoo and then I also use the normal shampoo. This is for fine hair because my hair is, my natural hair is really thin. I have extensions in at the moment, but obviously want my natural hair to be as strong as possible. And then the shampoo and I really like it. I also use the Kerastase um shampoo and conditioner sometimes but i feel like my hair gets greasy really quickly after using this yeah that is my plan tonight i'm gonna wash and style my hair um do a face mask and hopefully i'll feel a little bit better Right guys, it's now the next day. As you have seen this morning, I just started off my day with like an hour of reading because I'm enjoying my books so much. I've really like got a big way through the second Akatar book. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm just about to get ready. I thought I would just do a little bit of um, makeup filming because I'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on and it's just my like normal makeup that I normally wear to the gym and before I hear anything about it why are you wearing makeup to the gym um because I want to basically and that is reason enough let's stop hating on girls for wearing makeup to the gym because it's not like we're going full drag queen or anything at the gym but just a little bit honestly makes you feel so much better and if you feel better you're gonna perform better so if you want to wear makeup to the gym wear makeup to the gym if you don't want to wear makeup to the gym then don't it's completely up to you but let's not hate people for wearing makeup to the gym there's nothing wrong with it i am also personally not like a really really sweaty person either so like when i put it on it kind of stays on it doesn't all like sweat off so yeah it's not a problem for me but you just you just do you. Also, apologies for the <laughs> difference in my face and my body. I've obviously mentioned that I don't tan my face, only my body. So, we're going to be matching that today <laughs> with the makeup. Because I'm looking a little bit crazy right now. I went into Selfridges the other day and actually picked up a new product. This is the hourglass stick foundation i have heard like really good things about this so i wanted to try it and although it's called a foundation i do kind of like use it as a concealer i'm not a big like foundation kind of gal so i've literally just been like putting this on a brush and just kind of like evening out my skin tone obviously i have a little bit of redness a little bit of blemishes um 
and then obviously my skin, my, my face skin is not the same colour as my fake tan. It also looks way more crazy in this light. I promise it's like not actually as bad as it looks on camera. The camera is making me look so, so orange. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use this for like just to even out my skin tone a little bit. Right guys, I know that my mirror is there, but I'm filming it also on my phone and the lighting is obviously better natural daylight so i'm gonna film it here but as i said i'm gonna go in with the stick foundation and then the concealer that i have been loving recently is the nas i think this is the radiant creamy concealer this is in the shade custard and then for cream bronzer this is my ride or die this is the refi cream bronzer this is in the shade tan i absolutely love this My favourite loose powder to use is the Huda Beauty setting powder. I don't know if it's called a specific thing. But this is in the shade Sugar Cookie. This is like um, a translucent one. I did one, oh I forgot what shade it was. It was like a skin coloured one but it was literally sold out everywhere. But this um, translucent one is literally good enough and it lasts so long. I've honestly not even touched the size with this yet at all and I've had it for like a year can i say i don't like bake bake though like i don't use it probably as it's intended to i just put a little bit under my eyes and then a little bit all over my face but it lasts so so long Okay, I forgot to tell you guys what brow gel I used. I used the Refi brow gel in the, or brow tint in the shade medium brown. I love it. As I said, I got my eyebrows wet for the first time in like two weeks last night. So it feels nice to actually, you know, have, this sounds disgusting, but like not dirty eyebrows. Like my eyebrows were so grim and crusty and dirty because obviously you can't get them wet for two weeks. And like where I was maybe sometimes wearing, um, makeup on the occasion you can't like obviously wipe over your eyebrows so you've still got a little bit of like makeup lying around them it was just crusty and awful so to have clean eyebrows and actually be able to put brow gel in them <laughs> is such a nice feeling the mascara that i'm using is my holy grail this is literally my favorite mascara ever this is the maybelline um lash sensational mascara i have used this for years and years and years and years and i love it so much yeah, that is basically it the last step is just like the thinnest like tiniest little bit of lip liner from refi this is in the shade top i also have fawn as well but fawn is a little bit darker that is kind of what i use on like my when i was going out maybe so top is more of like a lighter pinky color and i literally just put like the lightest lightest layer around my lip nothing nothing too crazy and that is it thanks for joining on on this little <laughs> makeup part of the video i feel like this is definitely part of the glow up i actually feel so much better today um i feel like it is sometimes just like a physical glow up that you need because like i've obviously washed and styled my hair that i need to brush actually because i haven't brushed my hair yet today um, I feel like sometimes it is just that, a little bit of makeup, I had a good night's sleep last night, I actually need to check how much sleep I had last night, so let's have a look. If you guys didn't know, I actually have um, an aura ring, that is what this is, and I use it to track my sleep. I've had it for like a year now and I absolutely love it, honestly. It's literally the first app that I check in the morning. I have not been on any apps this morning, like Instagram or anything, I've just literally picked up my work fun to just film and then this is the first time i've picked up this phone other than to facetime anton so let's see how much sleep i had seven hours 47 minutes not bad at all i'm quite happy with that especially because all of these things here are blue if one of them is red it means it's something that you know you need to work on and it wasn't the best last night but everything's blue so yeah i'm happy with that and i'm feeling like good i'm feeling more like myself today 
But yeah, I also did just want to say like I am no makeup artist or anything so you know if I was doing anything wrong don't come for me but this is just how I personally do my makeup and I have actually been getting a lot of like makeup routine questions so I thought I'd film it for you guys because I also want to make my content very just me and like I feel like I am just so much more than just gym and fitness like I love being a girly girl like I love makeup I love hair I love everything like that and um, so I feel like I want to definitely film more things like that on my YouTube channel because yeah I feel like there's just more to me than you know just weightlifting which is obviously such a big part of my life but I obviously do love things like this makeup things and I want to share it with you guys especially over on here on YouTube I feel like this is like my safe space and I feel like I can just you know show you guys whatever um but yeah this is the makeup done my outfit today for the gym is an all black fit because I feel like all black never fails to make me feel confident maybe if I'm feeling a little bit like not so confident and um, this is the new unified vest and then I've got effortless leggings on the neckline of this vest is just my favorite it's so nice and feminine and yeah I really like it but I'm actually just filming for a reel right now um so I'm gonna finish that and then I will speak to you guys once I've done with that I have just made my um oh gotta stop this I have just made my hyper fixation breakfast. You guys will have seen me making this all the time on my YouTube and on my Instagram. But it is literally just Greek yogurt, dark chocolate, chia seeds, cinnamon powder and honey. And I usually put raspberries in it too, but I've run out. It's Thursday today. And you know when you do the food shop Sunday and then it gets to kind of midweek and things are just running out. I've got nothing left. So I need to do a little bit of a fridge restock this camera is about to die i'm just gonna run for my other battery guys i'm already feeling so much better in myself after making myself feel a little bit more confident from the outside like putting some makeup on and doing my hair i just feeling so much more confident already so yeah i'm actually really up for the gym today and i've not felt that in a little while so yeah and as i said i'm getting my nails done today and also a pedicure so i'm gonna take you guys along with me for that as well i'm just about to make my morning coffee it's absolutely freezing in my flat like i don't know i don't know what's going on but i'm definitely gonna make a hot coffee um and not an ice one because as like i said it's really really cold and outside today it is so so gloomy and rainy but it is what it is Hopefully we're going to be emerging into more of the, you know, spring months, but it's definitely getting lighter earlier now. Like I, I set my alarm for seven this morning and it was a little bit light outside, which is, you know, quite rare for 7am over the past few months. So yeah, things are looking up. <laughs> I'm just about to head to the gym. I just put a hoodie on because it is cold today. But I'm gonna take you along for today's session because I haven't taken you along on any sessions this week, I don't think, on YouTube. So yeah, that is also like part of the glow up process, I feel like, going to the gym. Obviously that's kind of something that will make you feel better like internally and you know, we'll get some good endorphins flowing. As I said, I've got push and I am so, I cannot explain to you how glad I am that it's not legs today. <laughs> Honestly, I am not enjoying my leg workouts at the moment so I couldn't be happier that it's upper body.
gym is done and I had a really good session. It was just nice and quick. Why do I insist on always putting my camera in the worst possible place? It was nice and quick, literally an hour and I was done. And now I'm back home and I've just got my meal prep in the microwave, which is a Sunday roast, so it's not actually too bad. I've got some gravy as well because in my opinion, there's nothing that gravy cannot fix. Dry chicken, gravy. And then I am meeting Ads and Holly because we're gonna go get a pedicure. And then after that, I have um, a manicure appointment. So I'm getting all the works today. I don't usually do this, but I feel like them falling on the same day is just kind of perfect. Cause I feel like, I don't know, just going for like just the pedicure. I always put it off cause it seems a bit like pointless. Anyone else? Cause nobody's gonna see my toes, but if I'm also getting a manicure in the same day, I feel like it's a bit of an excuse to just go and get it done. So then they're both done at the same time. First world problems, anyway, that's not important at all. I'm just about to eat this. It's looking a little bit um, dry right now, but secret sauce, Bisto gravy fixes everything. I'm now back from getting my nails done. I got a pedicure and I got a manicure and I got a French on both because I forgot how much I love a French. That is literally the worst angle to show you. But yeah, I got a French because I absolutely love a French and I literally got my nails cut down so much because my nails were getting so long. I get biab, not acrylic, so like these are my natural nails and they were honestly getting so long. They were annoying me in the gym. Um, and everything so yeah I've had them cut down it feels so much better and my pedicure also has made me feel a lot better I've just got back home I'm literally just about to go into my flat and I think I might be getting a takeaway tonight and having like a bit of a girly night but yeah I'm gonna actually end this video here I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was just a very random one and honestly just a very honest vlog from me so you know please be nice <laughs> in the comments i obviously just always want to be honest with you guys and if i'm not you know feeling 100 percent and feeling myself i don't want to like pretend that i am sort of thing and like you know fake it i want to always you know put out a positive you know face but i also don't want to yeah fake it so i'm sorry if this vlog was a little bit negative i feel like it turned around a little bit <laughs> i have really tried to make myself feel better this week and it's definitely helped i just feel like there's something going around in the air right now so if you are feeling the same you are not alone and things will get better just do something for yourself a little bit of self-care and yeah just some things that make you happy and you are bound to feel a little bit better i promise Put something on the telly that you enjoy, watch a nice film that you love or a series or whatever and do some, yeah, nice things for yourself. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye.